nobody knows when it began. Perhaps at the beginning of time. From the depths of the icy fields of the Himalayas descended the first streams to emerge as a mighty flowing force called the Ganga. Nourishing lives, sustaining civilizations, and pulsating with a vibrant culture, the Ganga is at its majestic best in the oldest living city of the world, Varanasi. A cradle of civilization for over 3,000 years, Varanasi today unfolds an exotic mix of faith, ritual and mysticism. It is here that Shiv and Parvati created the universe at the beginning of time. And it is here that the corpse of the universe will burn at the end. According to Hindu mythology, human civilization has died many a times. Only the Ganga and Varanasi have survived. And along with Varanasi has survived the oldest traditions of learning and knowledge known to man. In the hearts and minds of these 160 budding scholars of Varanasi is being affected a renaissance of ancient Indian culture. What is being instilled in them is confidence in a way of life, a system of values, and a concept of human existence that can redeem mankind, redeem through its promise of peaceful coexistence under divine guidance. It is under the guidance of the divine that the founding values and figures of ancient Indian culture are invoked, revived, and conserved here. समाज में सबसे ज्यादा जो आदर की वस्तु होती है वो संस्कृति होती है भारत की भी पहचान पूरे विश्व में इसीलिए है कि भारत की संस्कृति प्राचीन काल से ही चली आ रही है और वो व्यक्ति के जीवन को सर्वांगीण विकास की ओर उन्मुख बनाती है और सह जीवन सह अस्तित्व का एक वातावरण उत्पन्न करती है आज पूरे विश्व में इसी की आवश्यकता है कि एक व्यक्ति दूसरे व्यक्ति को देख करके घृणा न करे नफरत न करे उसको भी अपने समान ही समझे और उसके साथ वैसा ही व्यवहार करे जैसा वो अपने लिए चाहता है दूसरों से तो इस तरह की संस्कृति को अगर बढ़ावा मिलता है और वो हमारी प्राचीन संस्कृति अगर सुरक्षित रहती है तो निश्चित रूप से इससे देश को और देश ही क्या पूरे विश्व को लाभ होता है Recreating that globally relevant culture is a long journey that is clearly a foot in Varanasi. We are preparing for such people who are going to go forward and be standing in four directions. For example, to stand in a big building, the first pillar is standing in a big building. So, these people who are preparing for this are preparing for the purpose of standing in Bharati Sanskriti. The pillar of the pillar of the pillar of the pillar will be standing in a big building. The pillar of the pillar of the pillar a revival of this magnitude has to begin at the beginning and with the basics. Building such pillars involves following a rigorous and time-honored tradition of learning with the Sanskrit language at the center. Sanskrit se ज़्यादा प्रेम या भाव करते हैं हमारी जो पुरानी धरोहर है इसको बचाने के लिए हम यहाँ पर आए हैं अपने वेद और पुराण को बचाने के लिए अध्ययन करते हैं 
समाज जो है ये हमारे इस विद्या को अध्ययन नहीं करेगा तो विद्या आगे बढ़ेगी नहीं धीरे धीरे लुप्त हो जाएगी एट दिस वैदिक इंस्टीट्यूट called the vidya peet the curriculum aims to revive text and practices perfected through thousands of years of inquiry and scholarship keval pustak mein rakhne se dharohar bachti nahi hai dharohar ko grahan karke aur pure sansar mein usko phailane se dharohar ka prachar hota hai aur is jab ye karenge hum to hamare dharohar avashya bach jayegi the faith and zest of these students aptly symbolizes the spirit that has initiated and sustains the renaissance of ancient indian learning at varanasi Apart from Hinduism, other major religions have also prospered around the Ganga in Varanasi. Chief among whom is Buddhism. Buddham sharanam gachha. The busy banks of this mighty river, flourishing as a stronghold of Hinduism, must have attracted the Buddha irresistibly. After getting enlightenment, uh, Lord Buddha uh, decided to make his sermon for the benefit of people who are suffering in this world. So Buddha was thinking about the people who can understand his doctrine at the first moment. After he got his uh, enlightenment in Bodh Gaya, he came to Banaras because uh, Banaras had this repetition of uh, uh, very wise people and uh, this type of you know uh, center. And uh, he might have thought that if this center accepts my uh, you know uh, philosophy, maybe it is easier for other people to sort of get accepted. The Buddha's anticipation must have proved right. for his ideas found a warm acceptance at sarnath after coming here uh, buddha met five disciples and made a discussion first of all they were satisfied and then buddha made his first sermon uh, in the sarnath dia park In the spiritually charged atmosphere of Varanasi, Buddha must have found a fertile ground to propagate a simple and self-oriented religion that would help every common man counter the sufferings of life. The famous Dharma Chakra Sutra Deshana summarizes the entire process succinctly. एवं मे सुता एक भगवा वाराणसी पतने मिगदाए अनुतर दम चक्क पवते सी इट मीन द लोड बुद्ध केम टू काशी एंड हि मेड हिस् फर्मन वाराणसी ऋषिपतन मिगदाए एट द डी एफ आर दे मे बिखवे यांता पब्ब जिते न से विताबा सेकंड लाइन ऑफ दिस सूत्र एज अ सिंपल पर्सन वी कैन कंट्रोल अवर फीलिंग्स and we can go ahead doing meditation and understand in the uh, dharma and then we create the wisdom in our mind after buddha's departure and eventual death varanasi continued to foster buddhism it is today remembered as not only the birthplace of buddhism but as a site where a myriad facets of this fascinating religion lie preserved distinctly removed from but organically linked to the ganga sites like sarnath suggest a different religious and cultural geography in which the ganga at banaras emerges as a landmark of a different kind another such site 
can be found at Akta. About 14 kilometers away from the main city, these sites suggest a different religious and cultural geography of ancient Varanasi, in which the present-day Ghats lose much of their central significance. Primary evidence culled from dating of fossils and excavated remains indicate that the Akta civilization dates back to at least 1000 BC. Akta was uh, inhabited uh, somewhere around 12th and 13th century BC. And um, from that period, it continued to be under occupation up to uh, 3rd century AD. Akta has a very interesting geographical location. Uh, this is uh, connected with River Ganga with the small Nala, tributary Nala, known as Akta Nala, uh, which is actually tributary of Varuna. So from uh, this Nala to Varuna and then to Ganga. Around 800 BC, it appears that small groups uh, had gone, they had shifted towards main course of Ganga. And that was the time when we see that uh, um, the states were being formed and lots of interaction uh, was coming up in, in the form of trades. And Ganga might have uh, served as one of the major trade route. It is certain that this waterway once witnessed intense traffic of men, material and resources to and from Varanasi. Apart from being a mode of human conveyance, it was also used to carry a host of commodities essential for the functioning of the local economy, including wood for cremating dead bodies on the ghats of Varanasi. Thus, the river has served as a source of livelihood for hundreds and thousands of people who have inhabited its banks for several millennia. Gangaji no rata ta hamlog jiye tere mina khayle mina mar jaye. Kul gang Gangaji se ba hamlog ke khana no mile to bota pani pi ke Gangaji me to kam se kam kuch to jalur phega to kuch to Gangaji me machhi mach mile to kuch to upa hoy. Kul Gangaji ke hamlog Gangaji me maav me bai pete me baithal ke hamlog beech me bai to maav ke pete me hi na. कम से कम होगा बाप दादा हम लोग लड़का वाला होगा तब तक यह काम करता है लकड़ मकड़ के बहुत कठिन है कि आदम देखो आदम गट्टा के हाथ लाल हो जाता है बड़ी कठिन की कमाई है कि लोडिंग ऑफ अबाउट 9000 किलोग्राम्स ऑफ फायरवुड बहादुर एंड स्टीम negotiate numerous straits in this 15-kilometer downstream voyage that takes them a full day. From loading to unloading, the team will spend over five days transporting the logs that are a key component in the business of death at Varanasi. This business of death and moksha, apart from religion and learning, were largely responsible for establishing the fame of Varanasi. Sooner than later, this fame traveled far and wide in the ancient world and attracted fascinated travelers. Hyun Sang, the famous Chinese Buddhist pilgrim, records his fascination with the city. This fascination with Varanasi continues to attract travelers from the east as well as the west, even today. Thousands of foreigners come in search of knowledge and to be initiated in the myriad forms of art and culture flourishing here.
when I hear the concert of Indian music, I felt it's like going to the church or and pray. So that inspired me very much. This music is a sure path to the God. I came here uh, 10 years ago. And I'm spending the half of the year in Varanasi and half of the year on Greece, Crete, where, I'm, where I come from. I came to study the music in the beginning, and since I'm studying it, uh, sitar. Then I got interest for the Surbahar, one uh, bass variation of sitar. And lately I got interest for the Rudravina. In Grasthani's musical performance, this computer professional from Greece is a recent example of the fascination that Varanasi continues to exert on the world. Indian music is very rich in the rhythmical part, a lot of talas and variation. I felt it touched me, that music more than the Western. I believe it has a lot of therapeutic powers, you know. Nictorius learns classical instrumental music from a guru in Varanasi, whom he had heard perform in Greece. Oh, he is very good. He has put a lot of uh, energy and time and uh, he has been coming regularly for last 10 years. He did a lot of practice and uh, followed my direction. He's, he's, he has learned quite a bit. I can say that he understands very well the Indian classical music. He's getting better and better, I expect, to become a good performer and carry on this tradition of Indian classical music in Greece. In India, it's very free, very free culture. You will see everybody on the street. So you will see very different people from different religions, different beliefs, you will see the sadhus. I also never felt as a foreigner here. It was very familiar to me, India and everything. And I don't know, I feel like all India is like my family, really. I, I cannot explain it. I feel very much familiar with Indian people, like uh, I can take Indian food easily, no problem. Yoga is another facet of Varanasi that has captivated Nictorius, who continues to relish Eastern mysticism on the streets and ghats of Varanasi. Varanasi also fascinates him for its rich treasure of astrological knowledge. Nictorius ji ke andar wo gun maine dekha ki is aadmi mein is ladke mein सीखने की ललक रही ज्योतिष शास्त्र बोले माता पिता की तरह होता है जैसे बच्चों को हमेशा एक अच्छी से अच्छी गाइडलाइन जो है समय समय पे माँ बाप देते रहते हैं ज्योतिष शास्त्र दो शब्दों से बना है ज्योत और ईश ज्योत मीन्स लाइट ईश माने गॉड बोले लाइट ऑफ गॉड आई कैन से दस्ट्रोलॉजी इज अड ऑफ कर्म योग Like Nictorius, a sea of humanity from across the globe finds this fount of mysticism and culture irresistible. For it helps them to achieve a new understanding of life and perhaps themselves. We spotted another soul bewitched by the mystic chaos of mundane ghats shooting with the lens. I'm Krista from Switzerland. It's my first visit in Varanasi. It's a good city to learn to know a little bit about India, about Hinduism. I think in Europe, I don't know any city which is like Varanasi. I spend most of my time on the guts to observe people, to observe scenery and everything. There are so many scenes I could sketch. <laughs> I really like to see the local life, to draw local people, local uh, daily living. In Varanasi I can do so many scenes, I could sit on a gut the whole day and sketch anything.
fascinated by the sheer depth, simplicity, and authenticity of life around, Krista couldn't help being mesmerized. Being a center of religion, culture, and knowledge has imbued Varanasi with a rich tradition of art and craft. Banaras from the very early time was a center of weaving. When the Muslims took over this profession, they introduced beautiful motifs, designs, color and all the things which they had in their images from Iran and Afghanistan. The brilliant Banarsi silk sari, conceived, designed and produced by local workers, is only one manifestation of this tradition. Varanasi today speaks of a sizable Muslim influence that has syncretized with the dominant Hindu traditions. Over the years, as the Islamic influence grew in proportion, Islamic structures and institutions registered themselves on the Varanasi landscape. a culture which is known today as Ganga Jamuni culture or syncretic culture or a multicultural face of Banaras where Muslims and Hindus meet and mingle together. So Banaras is in fact a syncretic city, a multicultural city, a multi-ethnic city, it is a city of integration, a city of melting pots where Hindu and Muslim influence meet and mingle together. A variety of religious and cultural strands may have mixed in this melting pot, but pockets in the city still retain a distinct Hindu identity. An unmistakable stamp of this identity can be felt here on the Manikarnika Ghat. At this great cremation ground, death generates brisk trading. About 150 dead bodies are cremated here every day. The five Mahabhutas, which are the three Pratyaksh Mahabhutas, they give you three of the fire, fire and fire. These three of them are shown here in Manikarnika. So we believe that the body of the five Mahabhutas is made. And when you do the fire sanskar, the five Mahabhutas are only built in the fire. तो वहाँ पर महासमसान होने के कारण वहाँ पर पंच महाभूत विलीन हो रहे हैं और विलीन होकर के फिर उनका उद्भव भी कहीं कहीं होता है। हिंदूज बिलीव दैट डोज हु डाइ और आर क्रिमेटेड हियर अटेन इंस्टेंट मोक्षा और लिबरेशन फ्रॉम द साइकल ऑफ डेथ एंड रीबर as the mortal remains are consigned to flames with prayers, the soul rests in eternal peace. The burning embers provide a powerful symbol of the integral relation between life and death. Blessed with life, flourishing in death. This cradle by the stream continues to nurture some of the most enduring traditions and values of human civilization. Today, as the cradle and the stream stand threatened, 
It is the same traditions and values that promise to nurture them. It began in eternity. It will continue into eternity. As the stream continues to flow, the cradle continues to rock.